Sunday, May 22nd, is the Sunday after the day of Pentecost. Christians around the world celebrated last Sunday as the coming of the Holy Spirit, but we're going to continue our journey in the second chapter of Acts for several weeks, and we're going to kick that off tomorrow. If you ask people what they remember about the second chapter of Acts, of course, some people wouldn't know anything, but a lot of people would remember the story of Pentecost, which is the coming of the Holy Spirit with wind and fire and the speaking in many languages. That is the Pentecost story. Other people might remember the incredible message that Peter preached and how 3,000 people were baptized and became believers. But probably not a a lot of people would remember the ending of the second chapter of Acts. Do you know how the chapter ends? It ends with an amazing story that really represents to us the pattern of what life was like in the early church. We have a pattern or an outline or a blueprint of what made the church such a blessing in people's lives. You know, you couldn't build a church building without a blueprint, but some of us try to build a church family without following the New Testament blueprint. So for six weeks in a row, we're going to be looking at this blueprint. We're going to introduce that on the 22nd with an introduction to what the Bible tells us about this blueprint, the five important key characteristics of life in the church. And then we're going to unveil an opportunity to make that become a very powerful reality in your life and in the life of our church family. So I hope you'll follow this journey as we really dig into the very last portion of the second chapter of Acts, especially verses 42 through 47. So I look forward to this journey that begins Sunday morning, the 22nd. And if you're not able to be present in worship, I'll be sharing some afterthoughts with you by video. May the blessing of Pentecost continue to be a reality for you.